Hello everyone, take two of this video. I have worked on a new 3D model again. As you can see, it's the Genesis 2 female, so this is not a part of the League of, um, of the Lords of Magic content. Uh, my bad, I'm definitely not playing League of Legends. Um, I have, but I'm not doing it anymore because uh, just no. Anyhow, um, one of the things that I tried for time and time again, as you know, is doing armor like um, like chainmail, like um, scale mail, and you know how my scale mail turned out. Uh, currently, it's pretty good because I actually model each scale, and I decided. I want to try the same approach even though it's time consuming and um, it takes a lot of uh, disk space uh, for chainmail. So what I did is I grabbed the Genesis 2 female model and I yeah looked for an interesting or I found an interesting design online so I decided I'm going to make this as a partially chainmail uh, Clothing. I'm not saying armor because um, I am not no expert, but I'm pretty sure whatever I'm doing here doesn't have that much armor value. But uh, enough of the theory. Let's like, look into the model. I've used the Genesis 2 female full body suit that I usually use as a base cut of the arms and the legs of the suit and right now i'm working on the base model um i decided uh, at, at this point i thought about working with a pauldron but i decided later on i decided against it and deleted it again and currently i'm thinking about doing a few sets of pauldrons loosely of armor so i can put the pauldrons on the model uh, without having without them being part of each armor so I, have, I can interchange the pauldrons and the armor whenever I want to and mix match uh, the stuff um, the main part the main decision part is the actual chainmail that I do I cut out for example um, whenever I made the uh, UV maps um, this is something that I this time cut out because it's really not that interesting and um, I know I still owe some of you the uh, tutorial for this. This will definitely come this week. Um, I can promise you this much. Yeah, but uh, for this armor, as you can see, I've, I've worked on quite a few details. I wanted to have it a bit more detailed than usual. I wanted to have it a bit more... Um, yeah, let's say value than usual. So I decided to go into a bit more. Um, I decided to, to just uh, yeah, detail it out a bit. I've been working on a um, on a class pure um, leather class with some um, metal uh, parts, and this is actually fairly easy. This is. Um, um, I thought about putting on the armor all the stats and all the uh, little details that are necessary, but um, for those of you who've seen the first spider suit that I made for the Drow, uh, this had a lot of stats and in the end, in the render, it, it just didn't suffice, it just didn't work like I wanted to, so I decided I'm going for the, for the um, overall details, like the metal parts in the... In the clasp but I'm not going to overdo it so you actually can watch the whole thing without getting overwhelmed by too much detail too much little stuff uh, yeah mostly used the extrusion tool at some point I used the line tool for the uh, for the chain links you will see this in a bit um, this is basically, um, yeah, I, I cut up the uh, armor a bit to just give it a bit more detail, to just give it a bit more, to, to just break it up visually. Um, there's also, I've also worked the edges quite more. As you can see, I'm using thick edges again 
to emphasize on the fact that it's actual metal and armor that it's not just paper thin that it that there is some substance here um, even though this doesn't really have that much armor value I mean it's, it's still a complete armor it's relatively light I guess um, if I if someone were to wear this but it's not super protective anyhow uh, you can see that I'm working on the edges here and as you can see I'm breaking up I'm trying to break up the armor the the main armor piece uh, a bit with the edges in between this is why I'm, I'm doing the the, the uh, vertical edges here to to break up the whole uh, optic um, to give it more more segmented look and actually thought about or tried to give the back of this segmentation as well but it didn't really work because I would have it would had to have add extra lines and I didn't want to to mess too much with the actual model because the um, the chain mail that comes in front the render if, if you want to skip this he renders in the end you can already see how I how it turned out the chain mail that uh, I do is uh, the links are really uh, yeah memory intensive for the PC um, my PC had, had to t it wasn't a problem but he too but it took some time to actually import the model into into the desk studio for the yeah for the renders and yeah you can you can see the uh, I will do the chain pieces next as you can see I'm working with the line tool here I'm basically drawing the line in two different dimensions front and side and I'm doing a little cross here. I'm basically uh, painting a cross with this line that um, I then used the thicken tool on to actually give this a bit more uh, substance. And um, I basically then copy pasted this part this this one chain link uh, over and over again so that it interlinks and uh, it looks realistic in a sense I mean it's not super protective it has rather big holes as you can see it's not really that dense it's not really that uh, tight this is because obviously I'm also working this as a pinup so this is also why I'm not really calling this armor as you can see I'm just oh I just opened up the the loops because I um, well for one if I have bigger loops I don't need uh, that much uh, space for each so I can use less chain links which eases up on the uh, memory and uh, on, on my computer and um, yeah it also gives let's just see a little bit more skin which is the uh, part of the uh, pinup that I'm uh, working here. Overall, this was a really interesting thing to do. I had a lot of uh, fun just just working this. And um, yeah, as you can see, I'm working on the uh, bump map for the for the chain link part here. Um, and I'll skip in a minute because I did the other bump, uh, the other uh, UV maps in between, uh, basically. Um, because I wanted to have this finished as you can see I'm, I'm working the last of the of the maps here because I wanted to have this finished before I copy paste the whole uh, thing mainly because I wanted to have uh, most of these parts in groups before I go into the big copy paste with the uh, with the chainings as you can see uh, in the beginning I copy pasted the whole groups of chainings but this proved to be very memory intensive because uh, yeah, copying groups for some reason just uh, takes a lot of um, memory from, from my PC. So I, um, at, at some point, 
I decided to uh, copy paste the single link uh, over and over again. Um, also, the problem with having multiple links in the selection made it hard to actually see what I'm doing, actually see where is, if the links interlink, if the links are joined or if the links just hovering next or over to each uh, over each other so i decided to uh, work with a single link because i could just match each single one as you can see i'm copy pasting this here making sure that it actually works with the armor with the with the armor edges um, and that it doesn't stick out too much if at all and I think in the end this was a bit faster. I had to touch up on the links above and around every now and then. And at some point I got to the uh, to the point that the loops on the left and right on the outside started to um, yeah started to clip with the armor. So I had to actually morph or a chain no, not morph but but um, metal with the uh, links on the outside and uh, change up the whole uh, setup here but overall I like the project I like how it turned out I'm really happy with um, the whole concept of it uh, I hope you like it too if you do yeah if you like the video leave a like leave, uh, maybe subscribe and yeah, until we see each other again, stay safe, stay uh, healthy and enjoy the render that is quite literally around the corner and see you guys around.